Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Well, I hope it's a happy Monday for you. We had a fairly easy weekend. We only had one tournament. So, yeah, that was kind of nice. Um, and really, I just kind of spent the weekend moving pictures around on my wall. And the house actually did not get trash like it normally does. Everyone was picking up after themselves for the most part. So, yeah, that was nice. Very nice. Got some laundry done. Um, yeah, I think that's about all we did this weekend. So, it was it was good. We did have one sick one. I don't know what's going on with my family, but it seemed to just be a 24-hour thing. So, she's feeling better. I think she'll be able to go to school tomorrow. We've been fever free for over 24 hours now. But anyways, so yeah, I'm just bringing y'all some cleaning motivation on this Monday. Um, I hope you all can uh, put this on and maybe do some cleaning with me or hey, if you just like the satisfying cleaning videos like I do, then yeah, that's perfectly fine. Stick around. <laughs> This is your first time being at my channel. Thanks so much for being here. My name's Courtney. I am a mom of seven. I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, I started making these videos, this channel, really, just to give me something to do. Um, I have been struggling a lot with mental health um, and just not not having a lot of a, a big support system in my life. So. I kind of just, I really just needed something. And my husband 
had suggest he's been suggesting to make a channel for a while now and I just always thought it was so so silly like no there's no way I you know whatever but I eventually listened to him and I have to say I am having the most fun I've had in a long time just creating videos and talking to you all in the comments, I have already just gotten to know so many amazing people. So I'm really happy that I did this and I, I'm still trying to figure out exactly where my channel is going to go. But right now I post a lot of cleaning motivation. I do a lot of thrifting, so you're going to see a lot of thrift hauls. Um, I might start doing some shopping hauls. I'm definitely going to be taking you all shopping with me. Um, yeah, so we'll just, we'll see where this is going. Um, I, either way, I just appreciate y'all being here and let me know, like, if there's some stuff that you all might be interested in seeing out of my life. I mean, I don't, I honestly, my life's kind of revolved around my kids and my family. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't know. I, yeah. If y'all have got some ideas, definitely throw them out because I'm up for almost anything. <laughs>
So I thought it might be kind of interesting to, I don't know, get to know me a little bit more. So I have said that I am a stay-at-home mom to seven. I, my husband and I have been married. It'll be 16 years this October. So we got married very young. I was 18. He was 19. Um, yeah, we met, got engaged like five months after that. And then four months after that, we were married. So on our wedding day, my husband became a husband and he also became a father. So I don't know. I think about that quite a bit. Um, I don't ever take that for granted. He took on so much and being a kid himself, you know, I don't know. He's just, he's just pretty awesome. But yeah, so I had my oldest when I was 16. Um, if you were curious, if I wanted to have a large family, well, the answer is no. I actually did not want kids before I had kids. I did not want, I did not want to be a mom. Um, I, I did not have the happiest of childhoods growing up. So I really question my ability to even be a mom. And I also was a little burnt out on mothering my siblings. Um, my mom was not in a place a lot of through our childhood to, I don't know, to be what we needed her to be. So I did have to step up a lot. Um, my dad was out of the picture for a good chunk of my life. Um, and even when he was physically there, wasn't, you know, a mentally, emotionally present. So yeah, there was just, there was just a lot. And I just, I, I was really scared to be a mom. But when I had my oldest, which was obviously a, a surprise, you know, I was 16. Um, I did take on that mothering instincts pretty quickly. Um, I, I don't know, I learned that I absolutely loved being a mom. Um, she, she was everything to me and she, I don't know, she really, she really saved, saved my tail. <laughs> um, so when I met my husband, he, you know, I, I wanted to experience a child with him. Um, he did think of my child or my daughter as his own, but, you know, I wanted to give him that experience from the beginning. And I wanted to share that with him as well. Um, but he he had told me um, when we were dating that he would like six kids. <laughs> and I about passed out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we, he... Not that he won. Um, I just, every time we had a kid, I loved it more and more. And I loved seeing them together. And yeah, so it's, that's how we beha we had such a large family. And then our family has also grown because we, we do foster care. It's not something I talk a lot about on my channel. But, you know, we are going through an adoption right now. Adopting one of... Um, our kids in care, but yeah, so that's been a process. That's been a lengthy process, and hopefully it'll be over very soon. But yeah, that's just a few little facts about me. Um, yeah, thanks for listening. <laughs> so that's a wrap for tonight. Um, it wasn't too bad, so it didn't take me too long. Um, but I will show you the tour like I always do. Um, start in the kitchen. It is nice and clean. Um, I actually did not find any more dishes, but I am going to use my two-tier tray for a fruit stand until I can finish my other DIY. Okay, this is the DIY that I was going to show you all, but I actually think I'm just going to forego it. Ooh, a gnat. Do you all have to deal with gnats? Anytime it starts to warm up a little bit, we get gnats like crazy. It is... It is so annoying. Anyways, so I think I'm going to forego the DIY that I was going to show you all. I'm going to actually link the um, the video, the people who taught me how to do it. Um, they, they were pretty simple, but I will say, well, hold on. Let me show you first. So this is what I was going to make, or this is what I did make, what I was going to show you all. It is a fruit 
hammock. Like, how freaking cool and fun is that? <laughs> Um, I was on Amazon and I was like looking up fruit storage because I needed to, I had to figure something out. I don't like more stuff on the counter. You all have seen I have a very tiny kitchen. It is just it's just a corner. I just have a corner kitchen. So not a lot of counter space. Um so yeah, I did not like the fruit. I don't really like the fruit bowl either, like on the table. I don't know, it just just not it's just not my jam so I was looking up fruit storage and I found a cute little fruit hammock and I was like that's really fun so I almost started to buy it but then I was like you know what I think I could make that and I used to DIY like everything like when I just had three kids <laughs> I was the DIY queen I was making my kids stuff I was making stuff for the house all of it and I had so much fun doing it but it's like once that fourth kid came and they just all kept rolling in, I, I haven't been doing it. So it was really nice to get back into the DIYing. Um, hopefully I can keep it going. If I do, I will definitely show share all of my DIYing with you all. But I did make this little cute fruit hammock. Ah, uh, that's so stinking cute. I will say, if you all make this, use the um, link that they tell you to but then go ahead and add some more because I made two um the first one was really cute really pretty but it is so short so I actually repurposed it <laughs> I have actually made this little gallery wall behind me I am really into gallery walls right now this is one of two that I'm working on so this is I just kind of whipped this up tonight well not tonight uh earlier in the day. So as you can see this little, where you at? This little guy right here, that was my take one of the DIY or the um, fruit hammock. And it was like I said, way too short. So I, I, I mean, I worked really hard on that. So I decided to turn it into wall decor. Eh, I think it's pretty cute. But yeah, these are all the items that I've already had. Um, just kind of shopped around my house put those up there um i did show you all that one that i got <laughs> at the antique store um i fixed it so hopefully i fixed it but yeah so you know you can make some cute little wall because like macrame is really big right now and rightfully so it's super cute um so that was like some macrame core but it was really thick so i think that's what made it so much shorter this <laughs> one i used was actually like a nylon kind of rope I think I don't know which I think will actually even come in handy like if for some reason like one of the fruits rots or whatever it's gonna be a lot easier to clean than that one up there so I actually got this my husband got this in like the fishing section for me so props to him for that good idea <laughs> um but yeah it's just so cute like how stinking cute is that and I'm gonna make another one to hang there for there <laughs> for apples um I guess I don't know what I'm gonna do with bananas yet maybe I don't know I might leave it there over there on that tray but yeah that was gonna be my DIY I will definitely put like I said Link who taught me how to do it because they, they were they were they were probably the most simple to understand yeah but yeah so <laughs> kitchen is clean um the dining room was clean and then I put everything that I am rehoming uh, up here. A lot of cute items, but they're just not really going with the decor that I'm wanting to bring into the house now. So yeah, out with the old and with new. Um, let's see. I want to show you all the other gallery wall. Oh, kitchen or kitchen living room. So much clean. Oh, and look how bare this is. I just don't know what to do with this anymore. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm i going thrifting again tomorrow, so maybe I'll find some cute little pieces to put up there. I'm actually on the fence about even keeping the TV stand. <sighs> My husband is not in agreement with me, so it'll definitely stay for now. But I, th I am going to be just perusing <laughs> the TV stand section furniture. I don't know. But <laughs> anyways, this is where my other gallery wall is going to go. Now this is only going to be items that I have thrifted that have come to me secondhand. 
Um, yeah, just nothing that's going to be like in the retail stores or anything like that. I'm just really wanting to have a wall of all of the treasures that I find. So y'all have already seen these. Um, well, if you haven't, I'll actually put that video up for you all where I purchased these little thrifting, this thrifting haul. So I, <laughs> yes, I do. I do still have these command strips from Christmas but I am not ready to take them down because I might find something tomorrow to stick up there. And y'all, command strips are really stinking expensive, so I don't want to throw them away. Uh, anyways, and I have also put all... Ooh, it's dark. Sorry, I told you, my house is dark. But anyways, I have put all of the little candles that I got on Amazon in one spot. I just kind of liked the vibe of it. It was a little... Well, I don't know. I don't know what the word I'm trying to think of is. It's it's cute. Okay, it works. That, that's, a, that's a good word. <laughs> but my lamp, that's where that one went. Uh, yeah, I think that's cute. It is dark. I am sorry. Changed my plants around. I had that one there and that one in there. So, actually, because I think they're not getting enough sun where they are. So I actually might need to be moving them again. I don't know. Anyways, ugh, got a snoring dog. Literally. If y'all have ever experienced a French bulldog, it's just lots of snoring and farting. I'm sorry. That was gross, but that's what it is. Yeah. Anyways, laundry. <laughs> I, I'm going to work on I'm going to finish a show that I'm watching and work on that. And yeah, I have forego, foregone, forego. I have foregone pillows. I can't make them look cute. It might just be the couch. Or we do not have like the pretty little sectional a lot of people have. We have these big chunky recliners. <laughs> so I can't make pillows look cute. Maybe one day. Maybe somebody can come in this home, my home, and show me how to make those look cute. But for now, we are pillowless. Yeah. Oh, the bathroom. Let me, I want to show you all one thing that I did. So I, I had bought a mirror in my first thrifting haul that I showed you all. And I had put it downstairs. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, I, I stuck it in here. I kind of liked the vibe of this mirror more so than this one. This is the one that was in here. I don't think I'm going to leave that there. It's just, there's a nail there, so that's why it's there. <laughs> so, but yeah, this is... I kind of like that. I think it looks it looks nice in here. And I don't like that mirror that was in here. It's got a lot of just chips of paint. I don't know. It doesn't look good. And then my Picasso. Uh, yeah, so bathroom's clean-ish. It was just a really quick speed clean. Oh, there's a sock. There is always a sock. Like, honestly. There's always a sock or a spoon somewhere. It's covered in dog hair. My dogs are shedding right now. It is, yeah, it's been fun. I've vacuumed actually four times today. I have vacuumed this rug four times a day. Because every time I'd walk on it with my socks, I was just caked on it. And I like walking around with socks. I know, that's weird. Some people don't like socks, but I like socks. But I can't wear socks in my house, especially white ones. But anyways. I hope you all got some motivation from this video um, and you know just seeing some of the things that I am working on I'm kind of liking I'm liking how things are going um, I definitely need to keep finding some more pieces I'm kind of like okay I don't know if I've ever if I've even talked about this I hyper fixate a lot on, on literally anything and everything like, I can't even tell you how many projects I have done, how many skills that I have tried to learn or even learn, like, you know, I, I, I hyper fixate. So I get really into something, I go big, I go crazy, I have to find out everything about that. So right now I'm hyper fixating on thrifting. I've always thrifted, um, but for some reason, right now, in this stage of my life, I... I'm obsessed with it. So I'm going tomorrow. Um, usually, actually, I've been I've been going like multiple times a week to the same, you know, we only have a Goodwill and a Salvation Army that I'm aware of. I don't know if there's anything else close by, 
but so I just, I'm like hitting those stores constantly and I, I'm, I, I'm becoming a regular and hey, that's okay. Maybe they can give me some, some like, you know, information on when they're going to drop some things that I'm looking for. Anyways, but yeah, so I hyperfixate um, and yeah, that's just something I'm hyperfixating on right now. That will change. I 100% can guarantee that, I don't know the time frame. It all varies, but I, I will either completely stop for a while or I'll just kind of start to do it less and less. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It is a journey. <laughs> it is a journey that you all can experience with me. But yeah, so I'm probably, I might take you all thrifting with me tomorrow. Um, yeah, I definitely, I'm going to take you all thrifting with me tomorrow. I don't know when I'll post it. Uh, we'll see. Well, yeah, we'll see. But yeah, y'all definitely going with me tomorrow. Just a Goodwill Salvation Army run. Because I also am probably going to have to drop off some of these items as well. Anyways, this is getting really long. I'm rambling. Um, I think that is all I wanted to share with you all. I don't know. But if not, I will try to remember it for next video <laughs> but i appreciate y'all so much being here um if you haven't please subscribe i i had a goal of hitting 100 subscribers by the end of february i don't think i'm gonna hit that i think i'm at like 80 i think i'm at 84 right now which is an amazing number like don't even get me wrong i am super pumped about 84 people being interested in anything that i'm posting <laughs> but yeah, so if you haven't yet, definitely subscribe, like the video, um, and talk with me in the comments. I usually stick around for like the first 30, 45 minutes, um, just hoping someone will talk to me, <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, so I will see you all in our next video. Um, I'm trying to get a good routine down. I'm just testing it out this week. I'll let you know what my schedule is going to be, but I... Appreciate y'all so much. I'll see you all later. Bye.